Hey guys, what's going on? This is Josh from joshelder.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Google Trends for market and keyword research. Now, to get access to Google Trends, all you need to do is go to trends.google.com or just go to google.com, type in Google Trends and it will be the first search result. So let's go ahead and let's get into this. Um, let me kind of break down what you're seeing right here. At the very top, this is where you can sort of do your market research and your keyword research. Um, you have the date right here below, and then below that, you got featured insights. This is what's trending right now, the top two topics that are really trending right now. One would be March Madness 2017, and then you have immigration, and then you have the third one here, International Women's Day. And then you can scroll here, and you can see other topics that are also trending. Right, so these are your featured insights right here. And then below this, you have stories that are trending right now. So you have everything from technology to politics to um, sports to uh, famous you know, sports teams and uh, celebrities and things of that nature. And that just goes on and on and on. Um, and it looks like you have right around, if we just keep going down, you got easily over 100 different results, right, that are trending right now. So we can actually go to 104 right here and see the iPhone and see what's trending about the iPhone. So it looks like UK man electrocuted in bath while charging iPhone. <laughs> so this is what's trending right now around the topic iPhone. Okay, so what we can do is we can go up here and we can say, okay, Let's see, I want to go in the weight loss market, right? And then as a subtopic, because you don't want to go so broad, right? You want to find um, something that's more targeted than just weight loss. So let's, let's do a diet. So if we just type in diet, we'll have different topics based around diet. So you got not national diet, you got paleolithic diet, you got vegetarianism, national diet library, so these are based around different search terms, topics, and categories. So we're going to click on Paleolithic Diet. And then it's going to take us to a page in a graph that looks like this. This is the interest over time for the past five years. What we can do is we can change that to the past hour, past four hours, past day, seven days, so on and so forth. Since 2004 is what we can go back to. So pretty cool uh, statistics we have there. And then you can see the topic as it relates to the whole entire world and also as it relates to your country. So since we're in the United States, or I'm in the United States, we're going to go down to United States. And I'm going to select United States. Let's see, right here. And then what you can do is you can jump over here to web search and you can see how it's trending on Google. This is basically Google Trends for Google Search, right? So you can see that uh, based on a scale of zero to 100, 100 being the most um, interested um, people are you know, raving about the topic. And then of course you got 25 and then zero right here, which means you know no one's really talking about this topic. So it's probably a topic or a market that we don't want to go into, right? So you can see that every about January, this spikes up, right? And it looks like it went up a little bit here at the end of 2013, and then it's kind of gone back down as far as interest to where it was in uh, 2012, right? So what we can also do is we can go and see how many people are actually typing in Paleolithic diet in the image search of Google, right? So if we go to Google Images right here and we type in, you know, Paleolithic diet, this will show the interest of how many people are typing in Paleolithic diet in the images section of Google, right? So you'll see that here. Now, since we're going to be marketing mostly on Google and YouTube, 
What I'll do, since I do most of my marketing on YouTube right now, is I'll see how this topic is trending on YouTube. All right, so back in 2012, it was right around 50%. Now in 2017, it's actually gone up quite a bit um, to right to over 50, between 50 and 60% right here. So that's pretty cool data that we have here. And then what we can do is we can go down and we can see the subregions, the states that this search term is trending in the most. So it looks like people from New Mexico are typing this search term into YouTube the most, right? And then we can switch it, of course, back to web search. We'll see if that's still New Mexico. Nope, it looks like it's Colorado. So if we're marketing, right, we're doing Google AdWords, we're ranking our websites in Google, then we'll know that if we want to specifically target an ad towards Colorado, if we're doing paid advertising with Google, then um, we're going to get the most exposure, right, for this keyword term in the state of Colorado. So we can tailor our ad to people that are within Colorado. And then it's really cool. We got other related queries here, and you can use this for keyword ideas for your content and for your videos and things of that nature. So this is really, really powerful stuff right here. And then you have related topics over here, which again, you can, I mean, the rabbit hole goes deep here. You can click on one topic and then it'll give you the trend for that topic and then um, the different subregions and related queries right here at the bottom. So pretty, pretty cool stuff that we've got here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you another example since I'm in the internet marketing niche and then a sub niche of that of course you've got you know e-commerce you've got affiliate marketing which is what I really focus on so you'll notice that like when you're going into a market think of a broad market right a market within the health wealth or relationships niche pick that market and then pick a subtopic or a sub niche or niche depending on where you live in the world and then what you want to do is you want to um, create a list of keywords around that specific niche and then create content around those keywords and then rank those articles and those videos within Google and within YouTube because we know that there are topics that are trending that people are actively searching for. So I'm just going to go with affiliate marketing right here, all right? Search term or topic. And then we're gonna see the interest over time for affiliate marketing within Google search. So people that are going to Google right here and they're typing in affiliate marketing, this is showing the trends for this specific keyword uh, search, right? So you'll notice that back in 2012, it was at about 89, so pretty dang popular interest. So this would give me the, an idea that, hey, I would it would be a good idea to go into the affiliate marketing market because it's consistent and there's a lot of people that have been consistently interested in this specific topic over time. As you can see in February, the interest was about 92 and then now it's gone back down just a little bit uh, right within about 84 as you can see here, March 19th to the 25th. So the interest over time is consistent. So if I'm thinking about going into a market, the affiliate marketing market would be great um, because it's steady, right? You don't have those huge peaks and valleys like you do in other like seasonal industries. So you can see the interest, interest by region, super popular in Malta, and then Japan and Bangladesh and Nigeria and then Jamaica. Of course, we want to... Um, go with our country since we're going to be marketing mostly to the people in the United States and tier one countries. So again, look, boom, just in the United States, March 19th to 25th, super popular, 100. And then you got your subregions. It's most popular in Utah, which happens to be the state that I live in. So we could create a marketing message around people that want to learn affiliate marketing and market to those people that live in the state of Utah. And you got other topics. These are actually affiliate networks. This Rakuten I know is. Wix is like a, I believe a website development company. 
So you got related topics that relate to marketing and affiliate marketing, right? And you got related queries, JVZoo, United Games. So we can use these topics and do research on these topics and create content around these topics. So not only do you have access to the Google Keyword Tool, but you got Google Trends, you got YouTube's Instant Search, which I have videos created that cover more in depth about those topics. But um, I really hope you guys got some, some incredible value from this video. Uh, we can even go further too as well, you know, if we want to go for more of a long tail keyword. So like affiliate marketing for beginners, we can see how that's trending on the web. We can also see how it's trending just on YouTube. Boom. Again, it, it piked right here sometime in, uh, looks like between uh, February 26th and March 4th. Then you got your sub regions, and then you got related queries. Sometimes it won't give you other related search terms, so that means you just need to go a little bit more broad, right? And you can also compare two different markets with each other, which is pretty cool. So look, you got Amazon affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing tips for beginners, ClickBank affiliate marketing. And um, sometimes you'll just get a list of a bunch of different related topics that you could create content around. So it's all about starting broad and then drilling deep into one specific niche. So I hope this gives you some ideas uh, as far as your keyword research and creating content around topics that are trending right now so you can get traffic today instead of waiting for tomorrow. So if you got some value from this video, please like this video, comment below, let me know uh, if you got value. This inspires me to keep creating content like this. Um, also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the thumbs up button. And please, please share this with somebody that can get some value from it. This is Josh from joshelder.com signing off, and we will see you in the next video.